When it comes to distance running royalty, there is simply nobody that can match Kenanisa Bekele from Ethiopia. This man really has done it all, from setting world records on the track, to being unbeatable in the Olympic Games and the World Championships, to holding crazy unbeaten streaks, and to setting the craziest cross-country winning streak in history, winning both the long race and the short race from 2002 to 2006, which can't even be done anymore because they don't have both the short course and the long course in the World Finals. This man has done some unbelievable things throughout his career, and when it comes to pretty much any racing distance, he has been the absolute best of the best. Even when Kipchoge was unbeatable over the marathon, he threw down a time that was only two seconds slower in the 2019 Berlin Marathon. However, when it comes to his entire career, the later stages have been slightly more challenging, as he's unfortunately failed to finish a few marathon races, and he's still pushing for yet another Olympic berth. Now, the current landscape of the Ethiopian Olympic team when it comes to this year's Olympics is very much uncertain, and when it comes to Kenanisa Bekele, his ultimate goal is to make it to the starting line in this year's Paris Games. Now, from 2004 through 2012, Bekele was lined up on the track when it came to the Olympic Finals. He was just so good for so long. However, in 2016 and 2021 in the Tokyo Games, he was not on the starting line. A lot of people found this very troublesome because Kenanisa Bekele is the ultimate competitor. And even though many people see him as a very solid candidate for this year's Olympic Games, some believe that the Ethiopian committee is simply not set to select Bekele. And there are good reasons for him to start, and there's also a few solid reasons for him not to start. So let's unpack what's going on and see what's taking place with the greatest distance runner of all time. Now, over this past weekend, we saw a very interesting moment in this year's New York City Half Marathon. Now, in this race, the winner was Abel Kipchumba from Kenya, who ran a very solid time of 1 hour and 25 seconds. However, finishing all the way back in 7th was Kenanisa Bekele in 1 hour 3 minutes and 59 seconds. This is unfortunately far away from Kenanisa Bekele's best time. However, at 41 years old, many people are starting to think that father time is just inevitably taking away Kenanisa Bekele's abilities to compete at the highest level. But for others, they're seeing this as a very solid training run, as Bekele is just getting ready for this year's London Marathon in a few weeks' time. In a post-race interview, you can see that Bekele was not happy with his performance, which does lead me to believe that he has much more time to shave off. However, when it comes to him being selected for the Olympics, this is certainly not a good look for the greatest of all time. Now, looking back at the 2021 Tokyo Olympics for the marathon, I really wish that Bekele had been selected for that team, because unfortunately, all three of the Ethiopian qualifiers dropped out of this race. And these were three of the best marathoners in the field, which include Lalisa de Sissa, Sisse Lemma, who was actually last year's Valencia Marathon winner in a very quick time under 202, and lastly, Shura Katata, who also has managed to beat Kipchoge in the past. I'm not exactly sure what happened on the day, because Katata dropped out at 5 kilometers, Sisse Lemma dropped out at the halfway point, and Desissa dropped out at 30 kilometers. Now, I know that it was hot during the Tokyo Marathon, but still you'd think that at least one of them would have finished. And I really do believe that if Kenanisa Bekele did start, he would have made sure to finish, given that it was a big Olympic marathon. Now, a few other reasons why Bekele should be selected certainly include last year's Valencia Marathon, when at the age of 41, he dropped a time of 2 hours, 4 minutes, and 19 seconds, which was not only good enough to place 4th out of a very strong field, but this was fast enough to break the Masters World Record. Bekele has been so good for so long, and even though he did struggle in this year's New York City Marathon, I just think that him being selected for this year's Olympic Games is the right way to go. He has been such a legendary athlete for such a long time, supporting the Ethiopian name and bringing back countless medals to his home country. Seriously, go over to Wikipedia and search Kenanisa Bekele. You will see countless medals from so many different global championships. Now, the ultimate dream in this year's Olympic Games is to finally have the clash between Kenanisa Bekele and Elliot Kipchoge. And after so many years of just barely missing each other at the starting line, this year might actually happen, but it's also very interesting to mention that both Bekele and Kipchoge have been slightly underperforming this season, so they both are still waiting on their actual Olympic placements. But if they do race, it might be the perfect way for both athletes 
to finally meet each other at the biggest stage and perhaps hang up the spikes in a ceremonious ending to their careers. They have both been competing for well over 20 years, and I think that this would be the perfect send-off for these two legends. And now I want to pass this question off to you. Do you think Kenanisa Bekele should be selected for the Ethiopian Olympic team this summer? And if so, how do you think the Olympic marathon will go down? Will both Bekele and Kipchoge ultimately race? How will they perform? And are there chances that they will bring home Olympic medals? Thanks for watching, everyone. And as always, until next time. Thank <laughs> you.